erupting overnight, leaving two people dead and police searching for the person who pulled the trigger. Local 10's Terrell Fournay is following this one for us live from Lauder Hill. Terrell. And this neighborhood sits off of Northwest 56th Avenue, south of West Oakland Park Boulevard. Police actually believe that there were three shooting victims. Two of them died from their injuries, but the incident certainly has people who live here rattled. A hail of bullets from what is believed to be a semi-automatic weapon is heard on a neighbor's surveillance camera system Wednesday night. Minutes later, police rushed in and found two men dead from gunshot wounds. I didn't take it for anything until I heard more shots, and then I said to myself, that sounded like a shootout. So I'm really saddened. Many of the residents inside of the Blueberry Court development are too afraid to show their face on camera, but they tell us they feel their neighborhood is becoming more dangerous. Last night's shooting meant the section of the complex was roped off with yellow crime scene tape. The bodies of the victims were covered under a blue tarp. Investigators tell Local 10 a third person was involved in the shooting, and later in the night, a man showed up to a hospital in Tamarack with a gunshot wound. But detectives have not yet said if that incident is connected. The medical examiner's office is now doing its own work, which includes trying to positively ID the pair of shooting victims. So detectives have since wrapped up their work here in this neighborhood, but their investigation is still ongoing. So far, no one in custody. The person who pulled the trigger is still out there. Reporting live from Lauder Hill, Terrell Fournay, Local 10 News. Terrell Finley. Two men were found with gunshot wounds in a parking lot. They both were pronounced dead at the scene. Local 10 News reporter Syra Anwar is live at the scene. And she talked with residents who heard that gunfire. Syra, what did they have to say? So they said they've heard gunfire in this neighborhood before, but never this bad, never this rapid. They could tell it was a shootout. Lauder Hill police say they got here at 9 o'clock last night to find those two men dead in the parking lot, but they believe a third person may be involved. On a neighborhood surveillance video, you can hear the chilling sound of rapid gunfire. Well, I didn't take it for anything until I heard more shots, and then I said to myself, that sounded like a shootout. So I'm really saddened. Lauder Hill police say officers responded to this residential complex at Blueberry Court for a shooting. There, they found two adult men who had been shot in the parking lot. The men were pronounced dead at the scene. Sky 10 flying above the scene this morning, showing a body covered by a blue tarp as detectives investigate. The medical examiner arriving this morning to remove the bodies of the men. Witnesses telling Lauder Hill police there was a third person involved in the shooting that had driven off before police got there. Police say shortly after, Woodmont Hospital and Tamarack notified Lauder Hill police of a man who arrived there with a gunshot wound. Police not yet confirming if that man is involved in this same shooting. And so far, no update.